Hey folks, Andy Head Hard Hat Smith here. It is day number 28 of the 31 days of geocaching. We are wrapping this streak up and I am in the woods. Actually, I had to go for quite a walk when it came to actually finding this. I knew it wasn't going to be a park and grab, but I wanted the challenge and that's what I got. And for the people that are going to be watching the Geo Snippets Reboot podcast this week, we're going to be talking about pet peeves. And uh, one of the things that comes up a lot is micros in the woods. Well, folks, we are in the woods, and I just found the micro. And I'll tell you what, this is one of those times where a smartphone really doesn't work well. You really need one of these, a good old-fashioned GPS unit, because the antenna works a whole lot better in the foliage like this. But anyways, I digress. Let me show you what we found. We searched and we searched and I had to take a utility route with high, about knee high grass to get to where this particular one was and uh, yeah it was a micro in the woods and let me let me show you what I found. How'd you like going searching for one of those in a situation like this? But that's what it is and I'm glad I found it. It took a playing a lot of follow the bouncy narrow but there she be. All right, so there you go. Nice little micro in the woods. The mosquitoes are starting to come out. It's time to sign the log and get out of here. Yikes. Time to get some lunch. All right, let's go now and see how Miss Amy does today with her 28th geocache of the 31 days of geocaching. Let's go now. Hey folks, Andy Head Hard Hat Smith here. I got to yell. We're right by a really busy intersection actually a piece of highway and uh, as you can tell in the background we are looking for a guardrail cache it is day number 28 <coughs> I'm eating gnats yummy <coughs> yeah. I'm eating a lot of gnats <coughs> so anyways we're looking for a guardrail hat cache let's let's do that now and by the way I'm with Amy the head heart hatchers and we're beating the live We'll talk to you in a minute. Bye. Ah! Wow, there are gnats everywhere. This must be gnat season. You can always tell that uh, there's a good park and grab. Hey, all right. By all the car tires that are right coming up to where the park and grab is and as Amy's doing this I'll show you what I mean all right we need a pen there's car tires going all the way to where we had to go and I will get you a pen right here I thought I got the pen did I not give you the pen you didn't give me the pen I thought I took a pen I must have dropped it oh here it is there you go So it looks like we've got a magnetic key holder and a travel bug. Awesome. We'll have to take that on its way. Very cool. Na 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 My hands are just covered with that. Note the inspection mirror. Awesome. I'm a travel bug, and uh, it actually has the word Germany on it. Oh, you know what one of these are? Show the little blue ring. Uh, the one up here. This is a special, this is one of the first type of travel bugs I ever found. This is a diabetes awareness travel bug. That's what the blue circle is for. So we are going to uh, get it on its merry way. We'll find out what its goal is and help it along. But yeah, you never know where you're going to find a travel bug. All right, folks, this is Andy Head Hard Hat Smith and the Head Hard Hattress, day number 28 
tomorrow, day number 29. Thank you so much for following our vlog. Keep those comments coming. Yes, we are looking on eBay for all sorts of jester pants. So if you find Paisley pants, let us know how to get them on eBay or where to buy them. Argyle print. Argyle print. That's what we're looking for. The international tie-dye wars have begun with Colin French. So we're going Come for it. Colin. <laughs> so we'll see you tomorrow, <laughs> folks. Day number 29 out of the 31 days of geocaching. Somehow I got a feeling this is going to go longer than that. We'll see you in the vlog. See you tomorrow, folks. Bye-bye. for different things and I'm here and you're here and Dave's here we're all here <laughs> welcome to the Geo Snippets Reboot Podcast all I can say is check everything don't take anything for granted when you go geocaching because you never know 